G'day guys, welcome back. Welcome to Pouring Your Heart Out. I'm Julie, for those of you that don't know me. Um, I put up posts under my, my real name, Julie, and um, people go, oh, I've seen a video of that. And I go, yeah, it's Pouring Your Heart Out. So they think, oh, is that who you are? So anyway, that's me. Welcome, if you're new. Lovely to have you here. And uh, for all of those that have been maybe following me for the last couple of years. Thank you, thank you so much for coming back. Right, I'm going to go again with the black, reds and golds. Did you see the other one I did the other day? Um, oh, I'm just going to get it. It ended up being more purple and gold. I had a lot of trouble with the red Liquitex Basics. So I took it out, poured over it, and I got this gorgeous creature here in purples and gold. Still wet. So um, I'll let it dry. So today I'm going to go again. I'm going to try again. And I'm just going back to the, the Montmartre. <clears throat> that is the metallic gold. That's this one here. This one is the brilliant red. It's that one there. That one is mauve or mauve, which is, I, I don't think it's more of a purple. I think mauve's like a light purple, isn't it? Anyway, this one's more like a dark burgundy. And then this one here is crimson. And I've mixed them my usual pouring medium, 60% glue, 40% water, and then I've mixed them one to one. The gold was really, really thick. It's two to one, two parts pouring medium, one part paint. It is still thicker than the other paints, but that's that's okay. You need your gold. There's a lump in there. You need your gold to be, um, or any metallics, you need them to be a little bit thicker than your regular paints. Hopefully I haven't thinned it out too much. Um, so there we go. And uh, this is a 25 by 30 centimetre canvas, 10 by, 20, 10 by 12 inch. I'm going to put three drops of the spot on treadmill silicone oil in each. One, two, three. You don't need a lot. I think the gold got four. <laughs> There's a little bit more gold in that one. All right, so there we go. Just to give them a really good stir. Yeah, you, if you don't have your metallics um, thick enough, they either just disappear totally or they'll sort of grab a hold of your cells and make your cells all wobbly and out of shape and like overstretched if your gold's too thin. Give that a good stir. So I'm just going to layer my cup. I'm going to do one big flip cup. I've got about 500 grams of mixed paint here for this size canvas. A little bit of gold, a little bit of red. Oh god, it's black! A little bit of black, a little bit of red. So I'm going to try and do sort of light, dark, light, dark. That's dark, that's light, this is dark again. I want to do enough of a covering so that the colour underneath is pretty much covered. I don't really want to see it poking through too much. I'll probably do maybe three layers. And then I'm going to put a little bit of black on the gold. Because these two colours are a bit light. And then I'll go with this lighter red. This is more of an orange red. And then this one's more of a red red. And then that one's kind of like a purple red, really. I'm going to go with this one and then the gold. I don't really want too much of the gold next to the black because sometimes it can go like a little bit green. But we'll see. See what happens. I'm just changing it up. There's no rhyme or reason. I'm just sort of trying to get light, dark, light, dark with my colours. I think that's enough of you. Finish this one off. And my gold. 
gut. A little bit of this one. Oh, a big full cup. Oh, I've got too much. Well, this is more than uh, 500 grams. Okay, there we go. That is done. Let me just wipe my gloves off. A little damp cloth here. I like having lots of paint, you know, because it it just glides easier. You don't have to overstretch everything. But it's probably probably a little bit too much. Never mind. All right, so I don't have to wait for the paint to go drop down. It's already dropped down, so let's just flip. And hopefully we'll get a nice blended background. All right. I think what I'm going to do is just cover one side first. That's that's the corner that will go off because it's not all that attractive. That's okay. If you try and keep keep the bits that come out of the cup last, keep them like on one corner. Um, it's much easier to tilt off, you know, stuff that you don't like. Mm, don't like that blobby little cell there. Actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to torch. Uh, no, I won't actually, because they the cells are quite big already, so I probably don't need to torch now. Into that corner, go back. Oh gosh, the, see the gold. The gold is a little bit, a um, little bit thin. See that? Look at that. And yes, you will come off for sure. Okay, let's torch, and hopefully we'll get some pretty cells coming through. And then I can tilt off some of the things that I don't really like. Nice and high to begin with. You don't want to get too close because you get lots of cells. You'll get caterpillars to the cells that are joined together to make it like a caterpillar type thing. So I think I think probably my gold is a little bit on the thin side, just the way that it's reacting. Just let them grow for a minute. See, this one's grown huge. Remember what I said, how the gold grabs the other colours and it makes them go all out of shape? So I'll have to tilt that off. I'll have to tilt this off. The rest of it's looking okay. All right. So we've got plenty of paint left on the surface. Let's go off to this little corner here and just get that off. Now, I'm going to turn you around because I like to tilt away from myself. Now, see if I can get this big black blob off. See, with that, I may not have stirred my silicone quite enough. So I've got a big drop of silicone, which is in turn turned into a big cell. Okay, so that's that done. Those are the two bits that I didn't like are gone. Now this creature here, you cannot stay. I'm sorry, but you cannot stay. Now I'm just going to go up and down like this and then sort of on an angle towards my right hand to get him to go down and off. And I might take, see that blob there, with my, I might take that one off at the same time while I'm heading down that way. But just make sure that you go back and forth and back and forth. Don't just go straight down, otherwise you'll elongate everything. Oh my gosh, look at that! Wow! Now at least if I can get my weight of the paint. See these ones over here where I'm wiggling my thumb? They're a bit overstretched, so I'm just going to... See if I can get the weight of the paint to go back down there and just kind of close those cells up ever so slightly. But then you've got to watch what these ones are doing. So it's a bit of a, a bit of a trial and error. You've just got to be careful. But 
like I always say, if you're 70% happy with something, which I am with this one, leave it. Because if you think, oh, there's this one little cell up here that I don't like, you know, you could overstretch everything and then you'll only like it 30% and you'll hate it 70%. So if you like it 70%, leave it. It's never, in, in my opinion, you're never ever going to be happy with 100% happy. There's always going to be something on there that you don't like. Like I don't like that little creature there. Oh, oh I could balloon dip it. <laughs> oh, yeah, I don't really like that. <laughs> I don't, um, don't really like balloon dipping things. But um, like if there's something that you really, really hate, you could possibly do it. And there's a there's a blob of something in there, but I'm not going to touch it because I know if I start touching it, um, it will just make it worse. So it's, it can just stay in there. Like I'm probably the only one that can see it. <laughs> Let me just clean my hands. I'll get you down for close up. That's really pretty. Not as bright as I was expecting. Like the... The mauve, I think. The mauve, the burgundy. I don't know. I mean, the crimson. The, I don't know. One of them's kind of taken over, but it's really pretty. I'm happy with it. Um, let's get you down. Oops, squeaky. I must oil that. It's squeaky. All right, here we come. Around the corner. Look at these cells. It's the one where I stuck my finger in it. You could if you wanted to, like, you know, balloon dip by all means and then get lots of little flower things like that. But you will have to wait maybe eight hours until your paint's thick enough, like set enough. Otherwise, you'll dip and the paint will just run back. So it won't work. I'm just going to turn my ring light off. Hang on. We're a bit glary in here today. Mm, it's still, still a bit glary. It's not showing, it's not showing the brightness of the red. I don't know how I can show it to you. Mm, just because they've got the window over there on the side, and it's just a bit glary. But anyway, let's. I'll show you what I can show you. Um, so that purpley look in there. That's the mauve. Can't really see it up here. It's a bit, like I said, it's a bit glary. But when you get a bit closer you can see more of the colour. And when I when I um, upload my photo, I will change it so that you can see the actual colour. See, see the colour there and then just above it where it's glary, you can't see the colour. I don't know, it's hard to explain, but it just, the top looks glary because it's so shiny. So not totally, totally what I was going for with the colours, but I'm still really happy with it. Like I love those cells. The gold cells, they are just divine. So thanks for watching everyone. Hope you've enjoyed the little video. Let me know if there's any other colours that you would like to see me try. Uh, maybe I'll have another go at black, gold and red some other time, but um, I think I'm done for now. <laughs> move on to something else. All right. Thanks again for watching. Love you all. Stay safe. Bye for now.